Hello friends, welcome to Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. I'm Gail Annas Forder. It is good to be with you today. I'm still thinking about the Psalms. And as I said, I would be, and this is Psalm 4 that I'm thinking about today. Psalm 4 is a short Psalm. It's not one of the longest ones by any means, but let me just share a few of the thoughts that are here. This is the beginning part of it. It says, answer me when I call, O God who declares me innocent. Take away my distress, have mercy on me, and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make these groundless accusations? How long will you pursue lies? You can be sure of this. The Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Don't sin by letting anger gain control over you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Great advice, isn't it? It is true that a lot of times we are going to have things happen that we really don't like. People are going to say things about us that aren't true. We're going to want to defend ourselves. We're going to want to exact a little bit of revenge perhaps sometimes. We're going to give as well as what we're getting. And the psalm says that's not a great idea. Have you ever wanted to do that? I have. I thought, ah, oh, that's not true. Let me, you know, I just need to straighten this out. And I want to, let me say something about you that's not true. Sometimes we want to, you know, give as good as what we feel like we're getting. And the psalm says, no, these things will happen. How long will somebody be working on your reputation or making groundless accusations or pursuing lies? That'll happen in life about you or someone you love, that will happen often enough. But you can be sure of this, says the psalmist, the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. You've been set apart to maybe act a little bit differently than the uh, scuffle that we see happening in society all around us. We can act a little bit differently than that, or maybe a whole lot differently. And then it says, don't sin by letting anger gain control over you. And then it says, think about it overnight and remain silent. That's great advice, isn't it? To think about something for a while before you respond, especially when you feel that you've been wrong, you feel hurt or you feel angry and you just wanna punch back. It's a great idea to wait a little bit. Now, some of us are old enough to remember the days when we wrote letters something would happen and you would write a letter to somebody and you'd pour it all out and you'd be angry or upset or whatever you pour it all out on paper the next morning you take a look at it and you go oops i'm maybe going to tear that up instead of sending it you know we don't always have the waiting time now or we don't give ourselves the waiting time because we're on email and so we just push send and things happen the Psalms suggest that maybe we'll wait a little bit. Let it wait overnight. Let God work on us a little bit before we decide what's a good response, even if we feel like we've been wronged. You know, the Bible has a lot of good advice for us, a lot of good counsel. And I believe that the Bible is God's self-revelation to us. This is how God wants to act and this is how God wants us to act as well. So God will wait before exacting any kind of punishment on us and asks that we wait and think before we decide what, how it is that we will respond to another person. That kind of grace will make a difference in our lives and in our world. Let's give it a try. Amen.